Hey guys, what is up? How is everyone doing? Today's video I am pumped for because it's a big SPF review video. So I have actually been putting my skin under some, um, I would say fire, but I've been putting it through some things over the last couple of weeks because I've been trialing out five different SPFs. Now, if you have acne prone skin, you will be feeling me right now because SPFs are really hard to find, I find, with acne prone skin because they're either gonna work or they're either gonna just break you out horribly and that's just my personal experience with them in the past. So the first brand I'm gonna start off with is a brand called Isn't Tree. So I've got two SPFs that I've tried from them. One is the Hyaluronic Acid Perfect Sunblock and one is the Hyaluronic Acid Water sun gel. Now Isn't Tree is a brand that I've definitely heard about especially from Hiram's channel. I talk about him a lot recently because I'm just obsessed with his videos. So yeah I definitely have heard of the brand but I've just never tried anything until now. I actually got these off of the website Stylevana which by the way my code is still going so I'll leave all that in the description box and put it on the screen right now if you are interested. I really like that site because they have such a wider variety of brands when it comes to Korean skincare but I will just say if you live in the UK my biggest tip here is I always pay for the quicker shipping because sometimes with the shipping it can take about two weeks for your products to arrive so it's good to know. So anyway, isn't true. Let's start off with the Hyaluronic Acid Perfect Sunblock. So this one is a physical SPF. So that means that basically when you, a straight away when you apply, you've got that protection because the light just bounces off of the skin. Now, when things are a physical sun, so, so here, when things are a physical sunscreen, it does mean that they are more likely to have a slightly more white a cast. However, with Korean sunscreens, I usually find in general, their formulations are so amazing that not only is the white cast extremely minimal if there is a chance for there to be one, like if it is a physical sunscreen, but also the texture and the consistency of their SPFs do not feel like traditional SPF. So in terms of the texture of this product, it's a water-based sunscreen. So the texture, I would explain it, it's a kind of a hybrid between your moisturizer and serum. Like it's got ever so slight creaminess there to it, but it's more of that serum consistency, kind of like that light gel-like um, watery consistency. So it's really lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy or rich on the skin at all. Ingredients wise, you've got eight types of hyaluronic acid. I never even knew you could have that many types of hyaluronic acid, um, but there you go, it has that has eight. Um, so it is a very hydrating SPF, and I do feel that on my skin, and I just love hydrating products. They react really well with my skin, so um, this has actually been one of my favorites to use. It's actually the one that I am wearing today, and in terms of the finish on the skin, what I like about it is it gives a nice glow to the skin, but not in a greasy way. So it doesn't leave like a greasy slick on the skin, you know like some SPS do it doesn't do that it does sink into the skin but it just it makes the skin glow like it makes it just look very healthy and I really really love that and some other things to mention in terms of ingredients you've also got ceramides in there which help to strengthen up your skin barrier you've got centella which is a very common ingredient used in Korean skincare it's really good to calm the skin and you've also got uh, what's the other thing oh yeah fermented lactobacillus so um, it's got basically a probiotic so really good as well and calming and nourishing for the skin so yeah really good for strengthening up the skin barrier um, it's an SPF 50 I didn't mention that actually so it's an SPF 50 and it's got PA plus 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 so you'll see that a lot on Korean skincare and that just tells you how much it protects against UVA rays so this one is the highest you can get last thing actually to mention on this is it doesn't have a smell which to me is the first thing actually I look at in SPFs because I hate the smell of sunscreen like it will give me a headache so and um, this has been amazing because like smelling it on my hand right now, it does not have a smell whatsoever, it smells like nothing. Now, if you have got a deeper skin tone and you're like, oh, I really love the sound of that SPF, but I'm a little bit worried about the white cast, then you might like their other one. So Isn't Tree also have their Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Now, this is a chemical SPF, which basically means, um, unlike a, a physical sunblock, which just sits on the top layer and then bounces off the light, a chemical SPF actually goes into the skin and it um, basically protects the skin from the rays basically from within, if that makes sense, like within the skin. But one of the most notable differences with a chemical SPF is it doesn't have that white cast. So yeah, if, if you are concerned about the white cast of an SPF, then this might be one um, to have a little look at and consider. 
In terms of the ingredients, it's so similar to the last one I just mentioned. So they're perfect sunblock. So you've got that centella in there again. You've got the eight um, hyaluronic acids in there again. So yeah, very similar properties. But in terms of consistency, so I've got this on my hand right now, it's a little bit more watery. Like it is a little bit more thinner on the skin. Um, and the thing I actually want to mention with this is that this does, oh, just dropped the box. This does have a smell. So yeah, like it, it does have a slight SPF smell to it. So for my personal preference, I do prefer the Perfect Sunblock just because I'm very sensitive to the smell. But if the smell doesn't bother you, then this is also a really, really lovely SPF. I would also say actually, this does give me a slightly more dewy look to the skin as well, probably a little bit more than the um, Perfect Sunblock. Um, but it's, you know, it is a beautiful glow. Like I don't want you to think it's, it's greasy, like it's not greasy, it's not oily looking, it's just a really lovely um, healthy glow for the skin. Just to help you out and make all my rambling make sense, I'll pop on the screen right now a little chart which gives you the main differences between the two of these if you're a little bit like, ah, I'm still not really too sure. Let's move on to the next one. So the next product I want to talk about is from a brand called Misha, which again is a brand new product to me. I've never tried anything from this brand. Their packaging, firstly, is my favourite out of all the SPFs. Like, it's such a sleek, I don't know if you can see this, it's such a sleek packaging. It looks so nice, like, next to all your other products. So it feels very, like, luxe, which I really like. Um, but anyway, as a product, so this is a sun milk. This is an extremely lightweight consistency. It's very similar, actually, to the watery sun gel from Isn't Tree. It's that kind of very watery-based um, SPF. And actually, a similarity to this one and the water-based sunscreen from Isn't Tree is that this too is also a chemical SPF. So in terms of the white cast, um, yeah, there isn't a white cast to it really at all. So again, if you are concerned about that, this might be a nice uh, one to look at. Some things I want to mention about this SPF though is it definitely has a smell to it. So it is fragrant. So there is fragrance in the formula. So if that's something that you try to avoid, then you know that is good to know. The fragrance reminds me, basically it reminds me of my mum. Like it reminds me of something that, you know, when you're a kid and you play around with like your mum's skincare, it's that kind of smell that it takes me back to. Like that's the memory it brings me to. Is it just Reminds me of playing with my mum's products, which although is such a lovely, you know, moment and a flashback, like I said earlier, I don't like scents in my SPF, so this isn't one that I've been gravitating to um, too much, if I'm going to be honest. Oh my god, something that I didn't mention, which is like one of the whole points of this video, um, just going back, sorry, to the Isn't Tree products, these did not break me out whatsoever. So um, yeah, I've been using the Perfect Sunblock every single day recently, this is like my, my go-to, and yeah, really, really been good on my acne prone skin. So yeah, going along with the Misha, again, this one has been absolutely fine, it didn't cause me any breakouts or any like bumps or congestion on my skin whatsoever. So I've been really happy with this from an acne point of view. Um, again, just like the Isn't True, this is an SPF 50 and it's got the PA++++, plus plus plus. so this is just three pluses. So it hasn't got as strong UVA protection than the um, Isn't True. Something I wanna say about this one is I wasn't wowed by it when I applied it to my skin. Like when I applied it to my skin, I was kinda like, this is a bit so-so, but after like an hour where it's been sitting on my face and I kind of went back to the mirror to kind of see what my skin was looking like and also just to give it a little touch, I could not believe how soft this made my skin feel. And actually when I looked at this product online, I noticed that was one of the big um, like attributes of it people rave about is how soft it makes the skin. So yeah, it does really condition the skin really lovely and um, I think this would be really good under makeup as well. And in terms of ingredients, it's got a lot of calming ingredients, like it's got um, aloe and green tea and things like that in there. So it's quite a nice calming SPF. So I think my overall thoughts on this one is it is a really nice SPF and I will definitely use it up. So once I finish up the Isn't Tree one, which I'm on, I will definitely go to this and I'll use it up for sure. Um, but it's not one that I'm like, you know, I'm not wowed by it. I'm not like, you know, you've got to go buy it now, for example. Um, it's just a really nice does the job SPF really. So this next one I really enjoyed. So this is by Dr. Jar, which again is a brand I hear so much about, but for some reason I just haven't really tried much from them. So I was very excited to try this, and this is actually an SPF which um, I've heard I rave about. Um, so this is the Dr. Jar Everyday Sunday Mild Sun. Um, it's got SPF 43 um, and PA++++. Now the first thing that 
just comes to mind when I look at this SPF is it's so calming. If you have really sensitive skin, I think out of the SPFs I talk about in this video, this would be my go-to. I noticed instantly after applying, my skin was so calm. It felt so soothing on my skin and it was just a really enjoyable application. The only thing I would say about the application is I felt like I needed more product because the spreadability of this um, like it's a slightly, I would say, uh, yeah, actually definitely, it's definitely thicker than the other SPFs where, you know, the other ones are a bit more watery. This one is definitely more of a cream. Now, you can see on my hand though, something that I'm about to say is this definitely does give a bit of a white cast to the skin. So if you do not like a white cast, then, you know, this is just something good to know about. But in terms of the white cast, like, yes, you get it when you first put it on the skin, but it honestly just sinks and absorbs into the skin so quickly. I believe this is a mix. I think off the top of my head, this is a mix of um, chemical and physical inside this SPF. So it gives more of a kind of demi matte satin finish. So if you do not like the glow, if you do not like that dewy look, then this is definitely one I would say try out because um, it really doesn't leave a shine on the skin. Another big plus for me is it doesn't smell like SPF at all. It has a very, very subtle smell. It's it's kind of just a very calming smell. It's nothing intense. Like I wouldn't say this is a high fragrance product or anything like that at all. It's very minimal. But yeah, one thing's for sure, it doesn't smell like SPF. So again, definitely a go-to for me. And again, just like all the other ones, this did not break me out at all either. So yeah, super happy from an acne prone um, point of view. Now, the last SPF I have to talk about is, I would say it's my least favorite out of everything. And it's the one where from an acne point of view, I'm a little bit like, mm, I wouldn't recommend this to someone with acne prone skin to be using like every single day. So this is from the brand Thank You Pharma. So this is a very well-known brand. It's now actually stocked on a lot of the, just the mainstream uh, UK sites. I don't know if it's like, I think it might be Cult Beauty. One of the main sites in the UK now sell this. Um, so Thank You Pharma, um, this is the Sun Protect Water Sun Cream. It's an SPF 50 and it's PA++++. In terms of the consistency, it's very similar to like the Isn't Trees and the um, Essence one. It's more of that kind of watery, um, yeah, gel-like kind of feel on the skin. I mean, it is called the water sunscreen, so that kind of gives off the texture. Um, this has a strong smell, so that's probably the first place to start. It's really fragrant. So when I tried this, I was like, whoa, yeah, that really does have a strong smell to it. But then when I looked at the ingredients, like the fragrance is quite high up in the ingredient list. Like usually you see that like down, right down the bottom. But this one was like midway. So I do think there's quite a lot in here. Um, and for that reason, it's just not something that I personally enjoy using. Also from a consistency point of view, I personally found this one a little bit more greasy. Like it didn't leave like a super oil slick, but just even when you rub it in and then I just feel kind of the remnants on my fingers like it does feel a little bit greasy which I don't like um and then from an acne point of view like I said so this one it didn't break me out like it didn't give me like any intense breakouts but you know I know my skin very well and I know when a product's not suiting my skin and this is one of those ones where I kind of started to see a little bit of texture starting to creep up you know tiny little bumps here and there nothing really problematic nothing that really came up to be aggressive, but I just noticed it wasn't the best out of all of these that sat on my skin. And another thing that I didn't like about this was just the general ingredients um, like formulation. Like the other ones had some really cool ingredients like the ceramides or niacinamide was in a lot of these. I think the Isn't Tree has niacinamide in. Um, and also like centella and you know, these calming extracts. So it's a really lovely formulas in the other one. This one, when I looked at the ingredients this like, yeah, there's a bit of mistletoe and there was a little bit of centella, but that was about it. Like everything else was a bit like, yeah, yeah, the other ones I think not only do I prefer, but their ingredients lists are also personally, I think a little bit better than this one. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it is helpful if you are looking for some new SPFs to try. If you have any questions, then please let me know. And also, like I said in the beginning, um, if you do want to shop any of these on Stylevana, then my code will be in the description box and on screen right now if you do want to purchase anything. Um, but yeah, overall, I just really hope you find a nice new SPF from this video. 
video that you enjoy to use and love. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 5pm. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.